Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for always coming back and listening to more of my math videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notification. Now we are down to the last lesson in our sixth module in Mathematics 7. And our last lesson is about multiplication and division of decimals. Before I forget, our previous lesson was about multiplication and division of fractions. You should have watched the video. I have taught a lot of tricks that is about cancellation, making multiplication and division of larger numbers in fractions easily. So if you haven't watched that video, please click the suggested video above. Now for this lesson, we are going to multiply and divide decimals. The rules in multiplying and dividing decimals is almost the same as the rules in multiplying whole numbers, except that you have to be extra cautious of the decimal point. In multiplication of decimals, let's have an example. Multiply 321 and 4 tenths by 31 hundredths. First, we should arrange the numbers vertically. 321 and 4 tenths multiplied by 31 hundredths. Then, we multiply the numbers as if we are multiplying whole numbers. So, we start from the rightmost part of the numbers. We multiply 1 and 4 is 4. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. Next, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. 2 carry 1 then 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 now we add them bring down 4 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 and then we bring down 9 next we count the number of decimal places of the factors and place the decimal point in the product. How many decimal places does 321 and 4 tenths have? We have one decimal place and two decimal places. We have a total of three decimal places. So we take three numbers and put it on the right side of the decimal point and we put the decimal point in between 9 and 6. Our final answer, 99 and 634 thousandths. Let's have another example. Multiply 12 and 123 thousandths by 3 and 5 hundredths. Again, we arrange the numbers vertically. Then we multiply the numbers 5 multiplied by 3 is 15, that's 5 carry 1. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, that's 1 carry 1. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, we have 0 carry 1. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Now, 0 multiplied by any number gives us 0, so we put 5 zeros. Next, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Again, 3 times 1 is 3. And then we add the numbers. We bring down 5. 1 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 9 is 15. We have 5 carry 1. Now, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 6 and 3. Next, we count the number of decimal places. For our first factor, we have 3 decimal places. For our second factor, we have 2 decimal places, which gives us a total of 5 decimal places. We put 5 numbers to the right of the decimal point placing the decimal point between 6 and 9. Our final answer is 36 and 97,550 
fifteen hundred thousands. That is ten hundred thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Correct. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Next, for division of decimals, if the divisor is a whole number, we divide the divided by the divisor, applying the rules of a whole number. The position of the decimal point is the same as that in the dividend. Let's have an example. Divide 12 and 159 thousands by 3. That's how we divide it. Just place it in the division bar and perform division. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. 12 less 12 is equal to 0. We bring down 1. 1 divided by 3 cannot be, so we write 0. 0 multiplied by 3 is 0. 1 less 0 is 1. Bring down 5 gives us 15. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Now, 15 less 15 is 0. So we bring down 9. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 less 9 is equal to nothing more. 0. Next, we place the decimal point aligned with the dividend. And remember, we have three decimal places in the dividend. Therefore, our quotient will have also three decimal places, placing the decimal point between 4 and 0. Our final answer, 4 and 53 thousandths. Another thing is if the divisor is not a whole number, then we make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point in the divisor to the rightmost and making the number seem like a whole number. Let's have an example. Divide 365 and 55 hundredths by 1 and 5 tenths. It will look like that, but remember, the divisor should be a whole number. Since there is one decimal place in our divisor, we should also move one decimal place in our dividend, giving us brand new numbers. 3,655 and 5 tenths divided by 15. Now, since our divisor is already a whole number, we can perform division. 3 divided by 15 cannot be. Let's take 36 divided by 15. 2 15s gives 30, so we have 2. 2 multiplied by 15 is equal to 30. 36 less 30 is 6. We bring down 5. 65 divided by 15. So for 30, we have 2 15s. For 60, we will have 4 15s. So 4 multiplied by 15 is 60. 65 less 60 is 5. We bring down 5. How many 15s are there in 55? So if in 30, we will have 2 15s, we add another 15, we will have 45. So it's probably 3, 3 15s. Now 3 multiplied by 15 is equal to 45. 55 less 45 is equal to 10. Then we bring down 5. Now 105. Remember earlier, 60 has 4. 60 divided by 15 is equal to 4. Now, 60 multiplied by 2 is equal to 120, but this is just 115. So, 4 and I will take 3. 4 and 3, that makes 7. 7 multiplied by 15, check it, 105. That gives us no remainder. Remember, count the decimal places in the dividend. That is one decimal place. Therefore, in our quotient, we will have one decimal place placing the decimal point between three and seven our final answer 243 and seven tenths and that's the end of our lesson today i hope you have learned a lot if you have any comments or suggestions or any part or lesson in mathematics that you have difficulty you can just comment below Stay tuned for my next video and thank you for watching.